point, Sergeant. Impossible. Commander, what do we do now? We would be honored if you would join us. In the new Battlefront 2 trailer, we get to see the point of view of the Empire. It was about time we get another game that took us through the storyline of the Dark Side. In the trailer, we see the Imperial Special Forces arrive to take command of the fight on Endor's moon. When one of their helmets are removed, we are introduced to the new Imperial Special Forces commander, Aiden Versio. Versio experienced childhood on the planet Vardos. Her dad was an Imperial Chief Naval Officer and her mom, a craftsman, who added to the plans of publicity publications. She prepared her whole life to be an Imperial Administrator and joined the positions of the Galactic Empire. Amid the war, Commander Versio was given order of Inferno Squadron. She took an interest in the Battle of Endor and saw the devastation of the second Death Star exploding, just as we saw in the trailer. Knowing they were crushed, the Inferno Squadron sought her for bearing. Versio set out to retaliate for their Emperor by chasing down the general population in charge of his death and the obliteration of the Death Star in general. In particular, Luke Skywalker, which is where we see the new image of a slightly older Luke after Episode 6, which looks really cool. Imperial Special Forces were a military unit of the Galactic Empire, trained to carry out special operations. Many information is to come regarding these elite troopers. However, I can say one of their members was the notable Kolar Lud. His nickname was the Depopulator, because when they dropped him in the middle of an enemy village, he left nothing behind but the buildings, and usually those were burning. Eventually, Lud was caught by the Alliance, a development that looked to oust the Galactic Empire. The Depopulator was then secured in Sunspot Prison, a mystery prison kept up by the Alliance. Sooner or later, between the Battle of Yavin and the Battle of Hoth, an unidentified outsider attacked Sunspot Prison and liberated 17 detainees from their cells, including Lud. The Depopulator then attempted to assault Princess Leia, who was visiting the penitentiary at the time. Regardless of his wild notoriety, Lud was subdued by Leia. Now, their squadron was named Inferno Squadron. They were appointed after the Alliance tried to steal the arrangements to the Death Star amid the Battle of Scarif, and eventually demolished the fight station amid the Battle of Yavin. Inferno Squadron was entrusted with invading and at last obliterating the Partisans, a radical gathering that was driven by the Resistance member, Saw Gerrera, before his demise. During the Battle of Endor, no less than three individuals from the gathering took part. They were on the Timberland Moon when the Rebels annihilated the second Death Star. After this, they look to vindicate the Emperor, which is where we see them in the game's trailer. I think these elite special forces were more dangerous than Krennic's Death Troopers. Only time will tell, however, in the upcoming game. I'll be doing several giveaways for the game and some new gaming consoles, such as the Xbox One and the PS4 Pro, in the following months. As well as a new lightsaber giveaway once the channel hits 400,000 subscribers. Which is not too far off. Thank you for all of your support, everyone. I'd like to say that this could not be possible without you. I'll see you all in the next episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember the Force will be with you always. Now, fulfill your destiny.